Before Russia's invasion of Ukraine, Natalia Cherivko, an English to speakers of other languages specialist, owned a language school in Chernihiv. The invasion forced Cherivko to leave, heading first to France and then to the United States through its Uniting for Ukraine program. When I came here, I was desperate. I didn't know what I would do, wash dishes. I was ready to do anything, but I thought I would never get to teach English again. Cherivko sent her resume to dozens of language schools in Washington and soon got a response and a job offer. The Washington English Center was looking for a specialist just like her. Today, Cherivko is teaching volunteers. The non-profit Washington English Center was founded three decades ago to help refugees from El Salvador and other Central American countries. Since then, it has helped refugees from more than 100 countries and has over 800 teacher volunteers. They connect with their community and they connect with um, people from around the world, but they also feel like they're putting a very welcoming face on Washington, D.C., um, especially in light of where so many of our students are coming from. Ukrainian Oleksandra Mamontova has been in Washington for six months. In Ukraine, she worked as an accountant. In order to get a job in the U.S., she said she wants to become highly proficient in English. It was so hard for me to speak English because uh, I didn't use the English language for 20 years. I studied English in school and in university, but it was 20 years ago, so maybe I don't, I didn't have a practice at all, so it was really hard for me to, to speak. Unlike Momentova, Lubomir, a student who gave only his first name from Kolomea, never learned English. It's his second semester at the Washington English Center. My everyday English is fine. I'm sure I'm mispronouncing some things, but people understand me, and I understand them. To give students a chance to hear various accents, teachers occasionally rotate classes. So over the course of the week, the student hears from eight different teachers. Some of them are loud talkers like I am, some of them are very quiet talkers, some of them are older, younger, maybe they're from the South or they're from, you know, Massachusetts. And so the students hear a variety of accents and pronunciation. Lessons here are not free, but many students receive a stipend that covers the coast. The center also tries to help those who are temporarily unable to pay. Ksenia Turkova for VOA News, Washington.